What is happening, ladies and gents? Slamit here playing some more Seven Days Long Gone, and it's probably time to just wrap things up and head towards our final objective in the vault. Hmm, maybe I should fast travel there? Oh, it's behind enemy lines. And that scares me. It's also two feet away. So maybe it doesn't scare me that much, since I can probably just hop there. Oh. Um. Yeah, I don't think I want to go in there. Oh, am I one of them? Hi there, friends. What the sh. Alright. Turn back, citizens. This is a techno major matter. We're going nowhere. True good life. No, we're going nowhere. The biomancers have told us all about your heresy or ad. If anyone crosses the barricade or lays a hand on one of my soldiers, we will have no choice but to open fire. I say again, turn back at once. What if I lay a foot on one of his soldiers? Only open fire if they cross the line. Understood? Hmm. Well, how to sneak past? We're blessed with Dragon's love. We're blessed with Dragon's love. I get it. Um. Hmm. Can't go through there. That doesn't go around. Oh, there are leaves and trash over there. I might be able to sneak. Maybe. This is a big maybe. Ah. Don't look at me. Hmm. Not really sure what that gets me. Uh, I can't make it. Ah, oh, Jesus. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. We're inside. Let's quick save. Mm hmm. Yep. We could uh, craft. Stop the oh. The battery has been breached. Secure the passageway. Don't let anyone through. The biomancers certainly know how to make an entrance. Wait. Isn't that Sekla? Who the heckler is Seckler? You're surrounded, all right. Surrender. You cannot take the Ark. We'll die before it falls into my master's hands. Meh. First you put my brothers and sisters across. Meh. Now you slaughter Drugan's children. The blood of these people is on your hands. You brought them here. You are a pirate now. But neither you nor Drugan's agents will get control of the Ark. Ah, the possessed thief. He could destroy us all thanks to your stupidity. Enough suckler the sins now. With hot Come murder. On, Wait, how did I get here? Killed that guy. Didn't we? This must be what Cade was talking about. Seckler can upload his consciousness into replacement bodies. <laughs> Great. Well, let's leave the Techno Magi and the Biomancers to it. We need to get into the Ark. This mm. is the place I saw in Savash's memories. Looks like the Techno Magi have been busy. The excavation has uncovered more of the entrance. We need to disable that force field blocking the entrance. Perhaps sense mode will no be used to the power source. No shit, privileges Cade gave us better work. Don't want to end up like Savash's guide. Mm, right, he got nuked. What the? Did that biomancer just, like, spawn more biomancers? Um, well... Yep. 
her. We need some sort of control panels, I would imagine. They see me rolling. In down there, maybe somewhere? No? Oh, oh, there's power, power line in there. Side here, maybe. Well, uh oh, you, you're the one who is in my head. I failed to kill you then, but I won't this time. No. How did you escape? Wait. How did you get out of the repositorium when the biomass is attacked? Did you know nothing about the lethargia? I'm too valuable to be left to die in some traitor's hands. Ah, I've just realized. You're the one the High Priest is afraid of, aren't you? You can access the Ark. Good. Before you die, Bahai, I will reap the access code from your mind. Yeah, I'm gonna get wrecked. Ah. Where you where you at, bitch? Uh oh. Uh oh. Bitch. Hey. Freaking healers, man. This is me off. I don't know what happened there, but he died. Oh, shit. Ooh, how do we take all again? Yoinks. I'm gonna die of poison. <laughs> Please don't die of poison. Oop. All right, let's check out his gear and see. He didn't have any gloves, excuse me. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, all right. So why didn't he have gloves? Some bashers daggers. Um, high attack speed. They are better. Still like that because I'm a baller. I'm overweight, so let's drop. This stuff, I guess. Oh, nope, still wearing that. If I ever want it again, I know where it is. Uh, also, I hope it saved me after I murdered that guy. Where'd that power source go? Easy. The new one cannon is fully operational. Fire. Don't get in front of it, nerd. I should turn that off. The access privileges Kate gave us better work. You, you, you already said that. Uh, also, how do I get out of here? Rooftop access, hello? I 
can't get out that way. There we go. They wanted me to do this fun little <laughs> hacking mini game again. No, why didn't I see it? Erg. Brain. Yay! I hate these gloves. They don't match my outfit. Hmm. Can I climb up that way? Do I have to go down? Uh, but... But I want to climb. Like the assassin I was born to be. Can I just walk? Can I just walk behind it? Jump down? Might not die. Hit. Um. Okay. So landing on that little um outcropping. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> not possible. It's okay. I just wanted to do that hacking mini game again for the door. It was it was real fun. So. I just wanted to give me a little more, a little more joy in my life. Goddamn gravity. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? The hell spawn. I can't get through. Oh my God, please. Oh, Jesus. All right. Shall we try this again in a slightly different area? How's that back wall look? Um, no. Well, I wish I could drop assassinate from this high. Damn, I wanted to land on that little outcropping in front of the window. It would be perfect. about landing on this tractor. Oh, God. Uh. Beholder? motion splat you know for once that went amazingly smoothly it seems those who tried to follow us weren't so fortunate come on we need to keep moving yeah didn't even get spotted that was nice um sense mode what do we got going on here anything One small step for man. There's a door here, but it won't budge. When the power is restored, we should be able to override the door's control circuits. What? You don't say. It's like a museum of weird. The first computer. 
Let there be light. Oh. That was an empty climate. As he is light. There must be more than one power terminal in this room. Huh. I thought these all-knowing ancients would have had better wiring. It's an arcade cabinet? What the f A home PC, okay, yep. Yeah. A tank. Weed van or something? Bang bus? I don't know what it is. A vacuum? Is it a refrigerator? <laughs> a two in one freezer refrigerator combo? Vending machine, nice. All right, weird stuff. This place is enormous. What are all these glass boxes? You could look for yourself, rather than always asking me for answers. Wow, what a douche. Okay, I'm guessing these doors don't open, because reasons. I needed feather fall for the rest of the game so I didn't fall and die every four seconds. The Ark. An ancient vessel of immeasurable power. Like my penis. But there is a new home waiting for us out there. We can rebuild our civilization without the Scion Scourge. Humanity's fate depends on it. Okay. That is the Ark's main control panel. I will help you activate it. Once we do, the Ark will be under our control. But there will be no going back. This looks like the last area of iRobot. Was that iRobot? That Will Smith movie where there's the lady brain robot controlling unit thing, computer. Then it was in a room that looked pretty much like this. I didn't think it would work after all this time. Look. Isn't it time you told me what in Vettral happened here? There are audio logs stored in the mainframe. If you access them, I'm sure you'll get your answers. Hmm. Okay. I love listening to audio logs. And hopping. I think rolling is a way faster movement. Excuse me. What a terrible place to put a walkway. Why wouldn't you put it on the front? Jump in the core. Engage. User access. Authorized. Welcome back, Captain Liu Shan. Uh, day 89. Access the day 89 log. Okay, don't have any audio. You said it was an audio log, but you know, F you. <laughs> Captain Yu Shan's log. Day 89 of the Scion Conflict. The Ark is only at 65% capacity. We've been ordered to wait for some central government dignitaries. Fortunately, the Scion seem to be occupied in the Aroherja region. An infiltrator tried to get in today, but an automated security worked surprisingly well. I'm glad to see we haven't completely lost the ability to create machines devoid of artificial intelligence. 
Access the day 90 log. Uh, Captain's log, day 90 of the Cheyenne conflict. We've just received reports that New Shanghai and Magellan City have fallen. Magellan City. Magellan. I've ordered final launch procedure tests. I'll be damned if the if I risk the lives of the tens of thousands of souls on board for some politicians. I'll give them a day. Access the day 91 log. Captain's log, day 90 of the sign conflict. Oh, the arc is at nearly 80% capacity. We can't wait any longer. The main side force is drawing near again. I've initiated the countdown, but my engineers have reported issues with the release champs, clamps, those clamp champs, and the bay doors. Hopefully it's just a minor problem. Access the day 96 log. Captain's log, day 69 of the Scion conflict. This could be the end for us. The Scion must have known where the arcs are all along. They sealed the bay doors and locked the clamps in place so that we can't launch. Uh, Captain Mills and Captain No Young have reported the same. It's ironic if I think about it. Our escape vessels are going to be our tombs. Close the audio log. Shaft the ancients. This is insane. Where did Drugan even get this idea for the seven steps from then? Some of the steps are based on his life, of course. He got the idea for the seventh step. Deliverance from the Ark in Halid. Its hull is adorned with the number seven. It acts as a symbol, a visible reminder of the ultimate goal that Drugan set. And what, people just see a ship that didn't take off and accept that as proof of the heavens? You believed the lie until just a few minutes ago, didn't you? It is human nature. You need hope to survive. Drugan knows this. He uses it to manipulate all mankind. This misplaced hope is the pillar around which he built the Vetral Empire. I don't believe this. If the Ark's never left, then everything Drugan's religion is based on is a lie. There's no seventh step. Yes, there are no heavens. At least, not that we know of. Hmm. Did any of the other Arks escape this planet? I would assume not. My kind couldn't infiltrate the Arks, but they used the remnants of the Shadow Web to coordinate a global lockdown on the Ark launch protocols. So if you've known for a while that Drugan is a dangerous lying lunatic, why wait until now to do anything? Why did you drag me through this shithole? I've guided you through Pen, because we need the Ark. How could you support Drugan in this? I supported Drugan for as long as I believed he could advance humanity. I... Then why Oops. are we here? To rectify that <laughs> mistake. To rectify. Drugan is obsessed by ancient technology and blinded by power. He is holding humanity back for his own gains. Hmm. How do you plan to stop Drugan? You're not exactly close here. We are precisely where we need to be. Can you stop being so damn cryptic? What do we need the Ark for? To destroy the damaged Ark in Halad, the nucleus of his power, and eliminate Drugan in the process. Really? You have proven yourself resourceful and capable. What do you say? Will you help me remove Drugan from power? Hold on. If you destroy the Ark, what happens to Halad? Dude, everybody blows up in a giant nuke. I won't lie to you. The resultant explosion will destroy the Imperial Palace. There will be significant collateral damage. What do you mean by collateral damage? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand explosion and civilians. I estimate in the region of 500,000 casualties. Damn. 500,000? That's a lot of people dead just to get to Drugan. I agree. And it is regrettable. But it is the only rational course of action. You've seen what Drugan has done to society. Trust me, Terio. This is the only way. You will be achieving a greater purpose for all humanity if you You help will achieve me. the bad ending if you help me. Look, this is crazy. You're talking about wiping out hundreds of thousands of people. There must be another way. I have considered the options. 
This is the optimum solution for ensuring the downfall of the Empire. Hmm. Drugan is the only one influential enough to prevent chaos. Why not let him think he's won? Manipulate him. That's an unnecessary risk. Drugan and the Ark in Halad must be eliminated. You will unleash anarchy. The Technomagi and Biomancers will fight for supremacy. More lives will be lost. Humanity must go through trials if it's to emerge stronger. With Drugan in power, your species will stagnate. Please, do not try to stop me, Teriel. <sighs> People are sick of Drugan's oppression. They want better lives for themselves, and they'll fight for them. Given the chance. It's true that humanity does have an innate strength. Where have we seen this on Peh? Peh. What about the Cinder Man? His methods were a bit dubious, but he was trying to do good. That is true. But the Techno Magi were manipulating him for their own ends. They are a scourge. What other arguments do you have there? Damn it, I didn't complete enough side quests. <laughs> Look at the state of the Empire, the warring factions, the uprisings. The Empire will fall without us murdering hundreds of thousands. That is an interesting theory. But what makes you so sure? Think about what we have seen. It's not only the Technomagi that are tearing themselves apart. The Biomancers will also crumble. What brings you to that conclusion? Ah. Uh... What if the Tekrok cure were distributed across the Empire? That would loosen the Biomancer's grip on people, surely? That's a reasonable point. Fear is one of the primary means by which the Biomancers control the populace. What other arguments do you have, then? Ah. Uh... We've destroyed the neural network, right? So the Biomancer communications have been ruined. That primarily affects the Biomancers on Peh. Peh. It is not enough to cripple the rest of the Empire. What other arguments do you... <laughs> the Ark and its logs prove that Drugan's seven steps are a lie. There is no ascension. Removing that source of hope may do more than undermine Drugan. But it would destabilize the Empire. What other... I don't really know what I can say to persuade you. I shouldn't have to try. Your arguments are insubstantial. No, not enough side quests completed. We must proceed with my plan. Will you work with me? No. Shove the ancients, five hundred thousand people. I won't help you murder five hundred thousand people, Arzanak. I was afraid you'd say that. In dire times, sacrifices must be made. The future of your entire race is at stake here. I urge you to reconsider. Set aside your flawed sense of morality and look at the bigger picture. I'm not the one with flawed morals, demon. I can't let you do this. I can permanently override your consciousness if I must. I will do this with or without your consent. No. Great, Drogon. You're a fucking psycho, demon. How typical of a small-minded human to label a plan too ambitious for their comprehension as psychotic. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Even if you resist me temporarily, Teriel, you cannot defeat me. I won't stop until I've completed my mission. What if I just jump off the side and kill myself? You mock humans all the time. But you're talking about wiping out hundreds of thousands of people. I thought you were above shit like that. If you are trying to make me feel guilty, I'm afraid you've failed. I have carefully considered this course of action. It must be done. No! I vowed that I would never erase another human's consciousness, but you leave me with no uh. <laughs> Apparently there's a gap there. Oh look, there's a gap. Huh. Yeah, room.
ruined his dialogue too. Ah! Why do you fight? This isn't a battle you can win. What a jerk. Ah! Ah! Well, this is a good time. Foolish. <sighs> Onto hope where there is none. Excuse me? Excuse you me? Know that destroying your mind gives me no pleasure, the shit is going on. Alright, well, I guess I just fall to my death a thousand times. <laughs> what? So, can we tell which ones are going to disappear? Uh, what the shit? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? You didn't save after all of that. Are you actually freaking kidding me? Well, now I'm just going to agree with him. I'm not going through all that dialogue again. I won't do it. Thanks, video game design. <laughs> having to, having to repick my options. things if you what now I'm one hit away from death I vowed that I would what the hell is going on another human's consciousness but you leave me with no choice I don't plan to let you break your vow demon all right well the fiercest battles are fought in the mind against So, because I didn't present my arguments, I have less wiggle room when it comes to the end. <sighs> All right, I tried. I tried, game. I'm just going to agree with you, and we're going to blow up the world. You brought this on yourself. It's Captain's log. I hate you. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> That's what happens, game. With the Ark under our control, Teriel and I unleashed destruction on the heart of Druven's empire. Hallowed. The Emperor was killed, and half of the capital obliterated. The Vetral Empire crumbled. Small independent states filled the void. Each warring for territory and resources. Orad completed his mutiny. He lured the prisoners of Peh to his cause with the promise of weapons, artifacts, and freedom. As Orad's techno magi ranks swelled, their war against the biomancers intensified. Until the techno magi conquered Peh. Huh. 
the island became the first true technology liberated state. With Drugan gone, Orad finally fulfilled his promise to return technology to all of mankind. Second, the face of the Techno Magi assault narrowly escaped to the continent. He rallied the enlightened and built a new religious capital deep within the Saw Rift Mountains. The High Priest blamed the death of Drugan on the Techno Magi. His preachings captured the hearts of many former Drugan loyalists, who were then used in the fight against the Techno Magi. For some, Terriel has become the most wanted criminal in the Vetral Empire. No shit. For others, a mythical symbol of hope. Until he accidentally slipped off of a two-story building and died. Because he takes fall damage like a super bitch. Oh, Jesus. I love the world that this game has created with the story and the setting. But hot damn did I not enjoy playing like the last half of the game. Uh, and I want to see the other ending, but I don't want to deal with whatever the hell that fall off the square blocks. Uh, anyways, video games. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time.